Hello everyone, welcome back to GetDroid Tips and in this video we are going to talk about how to fix Expeditions, a mud runner game is having crashing issue it is not launching or won't launch Freezing, stuttering, lagging, low FPS drop, stuck or loading screen and even many more issues which is happening for many of the users right now and how we can fix this up so let's dive into the workaround The first one is all about when you are having this trouble we have to do a restart on your PC so just go over here in the game on the start icon, click on the power icon and go for a restart. Once the restart is successfully done, just try launch the game and that will be working fine. And this is what you have to do as the first step. Once you're done with this one and if you're still having the trouble, you can move to the next step. Next step is all about, we have to launch the game from the installation folder. So most of us launch the game from Steam. Maybe that is reason why we are having this issue up. So we have to launch the game from the installation folder for this what we need to do is we just need to launch the game so in order to do this just go over here in the uh, we have two methods to navigate to the shortcut the first one just right click over here and go to the properties go over here in the install it file and just click on the browse so that will take you to the installation folder and if you check at the top there is this pc local disk c program file x86 steam steam files and if you check over here at the top you can see these possible that is it is steam apps common and we have to go for expeditions a mud run, runner game and as you can see you just need to get into the folder and now from here you will be able to navigate to the installation folder from here just go to the preload and even in the packs you cannot see anything over here just go back once again now go to the sources go for bin folder and right now as you can see this is the expedition so this is where we have to launch the game so try launch the game from the installation folder as far as I'm concerned, it did work it and help it many users, you can try this out. Next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to try two steps that can be done from the installation folder. That is all about we have to run the game as an administrator and we have to launch the game in the compatibility mode. So to run the game as an administrator, just click over here and right click, go to the show more options, go to the properties, go for the compatibility, click on run this program as an administrator, go for apply and go for ok. And also you can run the game in the compatibility mode, either you can run it on Windows 7 or you can set this to Windows 8. You can run any one of the things Windows 7 or Windows 8 is fine. Just go for apply and go for ok. Once you're done with this one, just close everything and we have to go back and try launch the game. Next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to launch the game and we have to press Alt and Tab from the keyboard which helped many users. I don't know how this is related but for users who are having stuck on loading screen when they hit the play button and they press Alt or an Alt and Tab together it worked at them and also for those who are having trouble with the worn launch even also work it for them as well so you can try this out. Next step which is all about the fourth step is all about nothing but we have to make sure the date, time and region is correct. So just go over here in the search and navigate to the settings. Go over here in the time and language. Go to the date and time. Make sure time zone automatically and time automatically and all these three things should be turned on. Just go back, go to the language and region. Now make sure that you have selected the country according to geography. So if you're from United States, select United States. If you're from United Kingdom, you have to select United Kingdom. And if you're from any other country, you have to do it accordingly. Once after done with this one, just close everything and we have to go back and try launching the game. Next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to allow the game to Windows security. So just go over here, go over here in the search and navigate to the control panel. Now from here, go for system and security, go for Windows Defender Firewall. Go for allow Napur feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Now from here navigate to the game. So we just need to keep scrolling down and navigate to the Expeditions a mud runner game. Make sure both the private and public both has to be marked. Imagine the game is not here so we have to add it by default. So just click on the change setting. Go for allow another app. Go for browse. Navigate to this PC. Go to local C. Go to program file x86. Go for Steam. Navigate to Steam apps. Go to common. Now from here we have to navigate to Expeditions a mud runner game, go for uh, sources, go for bin. Now from here we have to select the game, go for open and we have to add it. I'm getting the error because the game is already added. Once the game is not there you can add it by default like this and make sure both the private and public both has to be marked. Once it is done just close everything and we have to go back and try launch the game. Next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to unplug all the USB devices. So we might be connected with a lot of things. For example, external joysticks might be connected. 
external monitors might be connected many external devices might be connected which is why we are having the crashing issue so just unplug everything once everything is successfully unplugged afterwards try launch the game once you are in the game and you are fine with the game you can try connect it back and try continue playing the game next one is all about nothing but we have to perform a clean boot so just go over here in the search go for system configuration search for system configuration navigate to the services go for disable all go for hide all microsoft services go for apply and go for okay just go for restart if it is asking for restart or go for exit without restart and afterwards try launching the game next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to perform a clean boot once it is done okay also you can try disabling the steam overlay just go over here to the game right click and go to the properties go over here and make sure if it is enabled we have to turn this off try launch the game if that is not the case we have to go over here in the launch option and the first command is dx11 you can try with dx11 if dx11 is not working try with dx12 so either the dx11 will be working or we have to try with dx12 any one or two things will be working fine and you can try this out this is a very important step and you should not be neglect in this afterwards still if you are having the trouble you can try following up with the next one that is closing all the overlay application so just go over here in the start and right click go to the task manager now as you can see there are a lot of things running in the background so there are a lot of things running in the background and all these things are actually having the crashing issue and that is why we are having many issues so we have to remove everything which in the sense when you are launching the game same way simultaneously if many applications are running in the background you will be definitely having the crashing issue so just remove the unwanted things for example riva tuner msa afterburn etc should be removed and once everything is successfully removed just close everything and we have to go back and try launch the game next one is all about nothing but we have to run the game on dedicated graphics card so just go over here in the game search for graphics settings over here go for the graphics settings and over here as you can see you can see all these things now from here we have to add the game just click on the browse go over here in this pc navigate to local disk c go to program file x86 go for steam over here navigate to the steam apps go to the common now from here we have to add the game expeditions emerge runner game now go to the sources go for bin now select the game from here and go for add once the game is added just go over here in the option make sure this is from let windows to side change this to high performance and go for save once it's been successfully saved just close everything and we have to go back and try launch the game next one is all about nothing but we have to increase the virtual memory so just go over here in the search search for view advanced system setting click on the advanced system setting and go to the advanced go for settings and go for advanced once again go for change make sure this is blank and you have to select the local disk where the game is installed go for the custom size that is initial size 1.5 times the total ram and the maximum size 3 times the total ram so just go over here navigate to the calculator so type your ram so 32 gb is the ram of my computer so just type your ram and we have to multiply with a constant value 1024 and we have to multiply it with 1.5 that brings you 49152 so just copy this value and we have to paste it next one the maximum size 32 gb multiplied with 1024 and we have to multiply it with 3 that brings you 98304 copy this and we have to paste it and once both the values are been been set just click close everything and it has to be done okay and afterwards try launch the game next one is all about nothing but we have to update the windows just go over here in the search navigate to the settings go over here in the windows update make sure the windows is up to date so we have to run the game on the latest versions of windows or else we'll be having the crashing issue so just make sure that as well and also we need to update the graphics card so i'll be providing a link in the description to both nvidia so if you're on the nvidia just go over here in this page go over here and select everything like the product type should be selected products series should be selected and product should be selected windows should be selected if you're on windows 11 select windows 11 and if you're on windows 10 select windows 11 and we have to go for start search and once you go for the start search what happens is once afterwards you're done with this one you'll be getting the latest versions to download from here download and install restart is a mandatory and try launch the game if you're on the amd just do the same go to the graphics select every models from here go for submit if you're on windows 10 download the respective one and if you're on windows 11 download the respective one and try installing and also you can try installing the microsoft visual c++ so just go over here if the system is based on x64 download this one if the system is based on x86 
download this one install restart is a mandatory and try launch the game so these possible workarounds can be done apart from this still if you are having the trouble we have two very important step and one among them is all about we have to verify integrity of game file so just go over here in the game right click and go to the properties go over here in the installed file and just click on the verify integrity of game file so this will cross check every single files of a game and if any files are corrupted and if any files are missing and all these kind of issues will be fixed by this so this is going to take a little bit of time so once you're done with this one try launch the game last and the least step is all about we have to do is we just need to unplug the i mean uninstall and reinstall the game just go over here in the game go to the manage and uninstall for reinstalling it back we have to go back and go to the this pc and we have to reinstall it back on the local disk and these possible workarounds can be done and i hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification see you soon in next video peace out bye bye